Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video, we have seen what is continuous statement in C++ and how to use it, right? And as well as we have seen break statement, right? Break and continue in C++. Now, in this video, we'll see one small topic that is in finite loops. Loops we have discussed, for loop, while loop, do while loop and range based for loop. Now, sometimes we have infinite loop, right? So, this thing we'll see in this video. What is infinite loop and why this thing occur in your program and when to use infinite loops the applications when intentionally we use infinite loops in our program the applications the uses of infinite loop right with the help of program also i'll show you flowchart and everything we'll discuss in this video right now maybe you are thinking infinite means obviously that is never gonna end so why we use this kind of loop because whenever till now, I guess, you know, maybe you have done your programming and sometimes it happens like your loop is, your program is running continuously, right? And uh, like by default, by, by, by mistake, you have uh, put in finite loop, this kind of thing in your program. So that is kind of error in your program and you have to stop that loop, right? But sometimes we intentionally put in finite loop in your program. Right. Now first, let's understand what is infinite loop. A loop without exit condition or a loop which is never going to end or it is also known as endless loop. Right. Now this infinite kind of thing occurs when some condition met in your program. Maybe first thing if you have written a loop with no termination condition that is infinite that would be an infinite loop because to stop the loop you have to put some termination condition like in 4 we have we use 4 here we have initialization then we have termination condition then update so if you forget to put this termination condition then also this loop would be infinite loop right like uh, maybe when I in my class if I you know uh, ask to any student like please stand up and read this thing read this paragraph or read this chapter right and I forgot to mention when to stop maybe after one paragraph or maybe after two paragraph or maybe after completing this chapter something like this so I forgot to mention to him or her when to stop I have just said start reading so that would be an infinite kind of thing right second thing maybe if you have mentioned in uh, the termination condition but that is never going to meet uh, this kind of termination condition you have put in your program that is never gonna meet right so that is also you know that also will result in infinite loop third thing if in your loop there is a condition that instruct it to start over to start again like sometimes we use in while loop continue uh, uh, press y to continue press n to exit so if you Every time if you enter Y, it is going to continue, 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 continue. So in the loop, we have put some condition that instruct this loop to start again. So in these three situations, a loop would be infinite loop. Let me write down these conditions. So infinite loop happens when one of these conditions occur in your program. Either there is no termination condition. Second, you have a termination condition. Loop has a termination condition that cannot be met or loop has a condition that instruct it to start over start again right so for these things we will be discussing individual programs and examples i'll show you right now how do you draw a flow chart first let's discuss this practically then we will draw flow chart right so let's create a new file infinite loop.cpp and same first we will write this header and i'll show you the example of infinite loop right See if I write a for loop, some for loop, something like this. Sorry, we have here semicolon, right? And within this, if I print like C out hi, so this would be an infinite loop because there is no termination condition in this loop. If you want me to run this, let me run this and I'll show you. See, this is an infinite loop, right? So because there is no termination condition here. Same if you put something like this, we have like i is equal to 10 and then we put uh, termination condition i less than equal to 10 
but the thing is it's sorry it's i not one right but now this also an infinite loop because there is no update so i would always be one one would always be less than equal to 10 so this is the case where we have termination condition that is never gonna meet right so this is also an infinite loop right if you have put something with the, the condition which is always true like i put like uh, 10 equal to equal to 10 this is always true or 9 less than equal to 10 this is always true so the condition is never gonna met right so this is some kind of you know infinite for loop same with while loop if i put something like this same like for this while loop also we have put uh, initialized i is equal to 1 at first and the condition is i less than 10 and see out high but this would be an infinite loop because i is never going to update okay let me show you let's run this and see it's an infinite loop right so and now the third case is when uh, in the loop we have some condition that instruct the loop to start again so same if if i have something like this if you put while 1 or while true or other than 0 whatever you will put, put here number 1 2 3 4 something like this that has always be true so this condition will always be true always be, always be true and this would be an infinite loop right so if you put like while 1 and here if you ask like see out high and if we ask from the user if you ask from the user like do you want to continue yes or no so if the choice equal to equal to equal to this no either it's small or capital so and the ch wise choice equal to equal to capital n then only exit means break otherwise it will continue right so if i run this let me show you first it will print high then it will ask do you want to continue and i press y do you want again hi do you want to continue again i press y again plus so if you again enter y y y then it is going to continue if you have to exit you have to press n so this kind of thing is there right this is the case the last condition to occur in finite loop in your program because we have some condition in our loop that is going to instruct it to start over again right if you don't press n it is not going to exit but right so this kind of thing we will see in many programs so we use infinite loops in many programs Spe specifically what is use of now this infinite loop why we use this in which type of thing see in operating system infinite loops are used because operating system you know continuously uh, continuously check for user input manage resources handling input and output and all until you switch off your device right in embedded system also like in event driven programming event loops event loops are designed in for mobiles and embedded system that are continuously checking for the uh, you know um, events like uh, moving a cursor pressing any key or uh, clicking something something like this until you switch off that device right so these are loops viruses sometimes use you know these infinite loops to crash your computer like whenever you open any link that contains a virus virus then it is going to maybe sometimes open the infinite number of windows exhausted your resources and you are not able to use your computer right so they use this thing infinite loops to crash your computer next web servers use this this thing uh, because they generally take user request and they return a web page and again they wait for so long to uh, to accept or for the next request right so they have and you know, they use infinite loops web servers also so there are these kind of things where the we intentionally infinite loops are being used right otherwise generally in simple programs if there is an infinite loop then we see it as an error as a bug bug and we correct it right so i hope now you got what is infinite loop and why we use this what is need and when to use infinite loops so i think you can draw flowchart for these loops infinite for loop infinite while loop even you can also uh, do this thing with do while loop so if you draw 
flow chart of infinite for loop then we have initialization first in for loop then condition would be checked and it is always true so true then loop body then update then again condition which is always true update loop body and something like this this is infinite loop right if you draw for while loop then something like this we have like we have a condition it's not like that there must be an initialization in while loop and then we will enter into the loop body right and then again condition then loop body condition loop body it's always true right so this is infinite while loop so this type of flow chart we can draw right so i hope you got what is infinite loop and when to use infinite loops so now in the next video we'll see what are nested loops and what is need of nested loops right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care